Are you debating between a steel trailer and an aluminum trailer? Just in the last seven days, we have sold 20 trailers here at our dealership. So we definitely have the experience between those two options. So I'm gonna show you guys a few different brands that we sell that will show you the difference between whether it be steel or that aluminum option. Just number one, how do you even know? Is it aluminum or is it steel? When you first look at that trailer, look right here to that main kind of front framing of the trailer. This sheen right here is what aluminum looks like. And you see the very stark difference, typically painted black when you have something that's in steel. And whether that's an open trailer or an enclosed trailer, we're gonna show you everything you really need to consider between those two options. Now let's cut right to the chase with some pros and cons First of all, let's talk about that steel side. What are the pros? To me, there's really two things that come to mind. Number one, price. This is probably where you're gonna enter the market, an open utility trailer. You may save something like $500 or a little bit more, or if you go to an enclosed trailer option, you could save thousands by going with a steel trailer. Now, the second pro I would give towards the steel option and a very, very important thing is the durability of steel. Steel is significantly stronger than aluminum. So what I typically tell customers is, are you using this trailer commercially? Are you a commercial landscaper? Here at How Equipment, we sell lawn and garden along with trailers. And so when I think of a landscaper and I think of someone using it every single day in and out, I really truly recommend them over to the steel side more often than the aluminum. Now, part of what goes in line with it being stronger, you're going to see more angle iron options. And what I mean by angle iron is this piece right here that's kind of an L shape, an angle shape. And typically on aluminum trailers, you're gonna see many more tubular options. Well, aluminum is not strong enough to have angle iron in here, but you can get away. And again, there goes some of that cost savings. You can have trailers that are completely made out of angle iron. This one happens to be angle iron and tube. This is a low trail, which is a little more of a premium option that we offer here at How Equip It. So to come back to that pro about price point, if you have a steel trailer and it's all angle, whether it be underneath and all up top, that's gonna be your lowest price point trailer. You could get something that is tube top like this and you're gonna be a little bit more yet. And then again, if you move over to the aluminum options, then the price point's going to jump further and further higher. Now I mentioned just two things that are pros with steel trailers, but to be honest, those are very big pros. The price point, and how strong it is. With aluminum, there's a number of pros that come along with it, but of course, always remember, you are going to be paying more for these aluminum options. So as far as aluminum goes, this happens to be a local brand that we sell called Jackson Fabworks, made locally by someone here in the area. And for us, this happens to be a very popular seller because it's stout and it is a very good price point because we've got a local manufacturer making these for us. So I think of a few pros when I'm thinking about aluminum. Two pros are very strong in mind. Number one, one, these are much lighter weight. Probably a steel trailer would be 1.5 times the weight, roughly speaking. That's kind of a rough formula I guess I've come up with. And so 66% weight if you go with aluminum. Why does that matter? Uh, maybe you've got a half ton truck. Maybe you don't even have a half ton truck. You've got something even smaller. And so what you're pulling behind there, the towing capacity of your vehicle, the gas mileage you get, those are things that are really going to make you lean more towards that aluminum option. Now with that point in mind, really think of the weight when you have a 16 foot enclosed option. Something like this in an aluminum weighs around 1800 pounds. If I had this with a steel frame, I'd probably be looking more like 26 to 2800 pounds. Number two, what I would say with an aluminum trailer is you will not see rust on a trailer. Now, depending on where you live, whether it be Florida or all the way up to the Midwest up here in Michigan, we see all different kinds of weather conditions, specifically snow, salt on the ground. That leads to a lot of rust on these trailers. You're not gonna have that problem if you go over to that aluminum option. And I think just that very difference in look also makes that aluminum a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I just think this has a little bit of better look to it versus steel that is painted. And what you'll see typically on aluminum options because of that whole aesthetic idea, this is more of a premium type of product, Yes, you're gonna get the nice look here, but what you typically see are more screwless options, which isn't really any better structurally for that trailer, but it does give a really nice aesthetic look to it. And you'll see options like aluminum rims on here as well. You probably wouldn't necessarily want an aluminum trailer with steel rims that could rust out. 
I do sell plenty of aluminum trailers with steel rims, but it's definitely a popular upgrade on an aluminum trailer to get those aluminum rims. And if rust is a large concern for you, of course, aluminum could be that option. Now, the brands that we carry, uh, Take Load Trail, for example, they're gonna do a powder coated finish, which does help with rust prevention. We have a brand RC, they use something called a Z Tech undercoating spray, also rust preventative. And lastly, Dark Horse, this is a brand where they put a truck bed liner on here, very popular up here in the Midwest to be able to get a Dark Horse trailer with that rust preventative measure. So just because it is steel doesn't necessarily mean it's going to rust out. Definitely get one that has a good undercoating, something that's powder coated, if that's something you're considering. Now we're located here in Michigan, but maybe you live somewhere else. We've got a delivery going out to Cleveland, Ohio. Deliveries for free because someone's buying three trailers at a time. We've got a 50 foot wedge trailer and we can deliver and do things like that when people buy in bulk. So keep that in mind if you wanna do business here at Howie Equipment. We would love to help you and hope this added a lot of value to you.